A lap time better than 1 minute 40 seconds, a sub 100 lap, is kind of a milestone for motorcyclists at the Taupo track. In the recent LG Superbike race at Taupo, only 9 riders, including Sandra, posted a sub 100 second lap time. A sub 100 second lap is no small achievement. It represents an average speed of 120 km per hour, but at the end of the back straight, Sandra is travelling at about 250 km an hour. That's almost 70 metres per second. When she brakes at the end of the straight, her bike pitches forward, transferring speed and weight to the front tyre. The front wheel of the bike will briefly weigh almost 300 kilograms, more than Sandra and the bike weigh together, until she's slowed the bike enough to make it around the next corner. In the corner itself, Sandra will lean her bike over about 75 degrees, riding on the very outside edge of her tyres, grinding down the special ceramic sliders on her knees as she fights to keep herself and her bike off the track before she starts to accelerate again. The phenomenal power of a superbike means that acceleration is reflex fast. Sandra's Honda will reach 100 km an hour from a standing start in less than 3 seconds and cover a 400 metre sprint in less than 10 seconds. During acceleration, the massive torque of the engine tries to pull the rear wheel under the bike, lifting the back. At the same time, the raw power of the engine can often overcome the weight of the bike, lifting the front wheel of the bike into a spectacular wheelie. More than just a competition between machines, superbike racing may be the ultimate test of human strength, stamina and agility. No other form of motorsport demands as much from the competitor. A superbike rider literally becomes a part of the machine. The whole way around the track, Sandra is using her body, shifting her weight forward and back from side to side to control the bike. Racing at Taupo, Sandra will draw on all her physical strength to coax her 200kg, 180 horsepower Honda Fireblade through 70 corners at speeds of up to 70 meters per second, covering a total distance of 16 and a half kilometers, and all in under eight minutes. Even a single lap of the track on a superbike is not quite like another trip to the mall, but it's all in a day's racing for Sandra.